what is up? It's your girl Rachel with Nighttime Mommy Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the new K-Cup or Keurig K-Supreme Plus machine. It is a single serve coffee maker so you guys we will be reviewing it today. Stay tuned. We're getting into the specs first and what it comes with and then we can test it out. So when you receive your machine what you'll receive is the actual machine, the water filter along with a carbon filter as well. There's a carbon filter and the actual filter stand that you put inside the removable water tank. And it's pretty heavy right now because I have it filled. You can fit up to 78 ounces of water in the water tank which means you can brew up to nine cups of coffee before having to refill it. You also receive a sample box of the coffee collection it's 12 uh, 12k cups along with three right now if you buy it from Costco they have a Kirkland signature uh, three pack as well for you to try along with the machine you also receive the my K cup universal Re reusable coffee filter so if you don't want to use the K cups you can put your own coffee grounds in the reusable coffee uh, filter here and use that for your own coffee grounds all right now let's get into the specs of the actual machine the machine is 12.2 inches tall with the handle open you add another 4.7 inches um, for the actual uh, between the drip tray and the top of the machine you have 6.2 inches with the drip tray but this is removable so without it you get it 7.2 inches between the top and the bottom also, it is 8.3 inches wide and it is 13.3 inches in depth from front to back. All right, so let's go over the top of the machine and see the functions because you guys, between the K Supreme and the K Supreme Plus, there are some big differences with the new one. So let's check it out. All right, so with the new machine, the Supreme Plus, you have the option for four ounce cup, a six ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounces, whereas the Supreme only gave you the 6, 8, 10, and 12. The 4 ounce is now available. You also have the option to save presets. So if you and your husband or you and your family members want to have your own presets and you don't want to have to select the temperature or the strength of the coffee every time, you can save your presets up to three people uh, with this machine. Now, that being said, you can select three levels of strength for your coffee coffee and then also three levels of strength for the temperature or sorry three levels of the temperature uh, also you can select iced coffee as well so if you do iced coffee it's going to brew at the lowest temperature possible all right now they also do have a digital display as you can see so when you're selecting the strength you can see that you have three bars so it's blinking there's the three levels. Temperature as well. There's the three. And those are the big specs with the new Supreme Plus. Now, it does also have multi-stream technology, which means that not only are you going to get that center hole in the... Um, in the K cup, you're going to get five holes all around so that the water brews or gets through all of the coffee grounds evenly and you get a more, I guess, better tasting coffee because it's going to actually get the more of the aroma of the coffee since it's actually infusing the water through five different spots versus the center. All right, so what I have here is a thermometer. What I want to do is test the three temperatures that we get. So I am using just uh, one of the K-cups here and we are going to select the temperature at the first level first and then what you do is after you set your temperature you can select the ounces so I'm going to do eight ounces and to get it started you just press the center K-cup button all right so once you start doing that I will bring it over here it will say brewing and after it says brewing then it'll say enjoy once it is ready to be enjoyed Alright, so this cup just finished. It is pretty hot, so let's see the temperature. I don't want to touch the mug. Let's see. Yep, 
165. All right. Now we will test it for the second and the third. Okay, so now we're being told to enjoy. So let's check the temperature. One seventy two point three. Let's see. One seventy one seventy one, one seventy two. All right, let's try the third. All right, so this cup is ready. Let's go ahead and check the temperature. All right, so the third temperature is coming up at 171 as well. 171, 172. So it doesn't look like the third temperature really got much hotter than the uh, second. So the second one seems to be the hottest with this machine. Seems similar to the second. So there you have it with the second and third temperature. It seems like it's going to be a similar temperature. That's something to take note of with the new uh, K-Cup Supreme Plus. Uh, but nevertheless, for a single serve, I do love the feature that you can remove the tank and fill the water without having to take the whole entire unit. And it is very user friendly with the button setting up how many ounces along with saving your favorite settings that is probably going to happen in my household also I did read in the manual um, that you should use the lowest temperature or the highest temperature with any cocos or also it says lowest strength and highest temperature for the best results when you're making hot cocoa but for coffee definitely you can play with the strength and temperature to your liking all right, and that is my review of the Keurig K-Supreme Plus. You guys, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed because on Nighttime Mommy Reviews, we review different products and we also do tutorials on how to use some of the products. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if there's anything you want to know about the new Keurig machine, please let me know in the comments. I will do my best to answer all of your questions as quickly as possible. But until next time, you guys have a great night.